Jezebel. Praise Jesus, huh? Let's go. Great evening, great evening. Y'all already know it's your man, Super Bad the Battle Axe. Look, we got to grasp that it is not about fighting each other, but it's about fighting for one another. The warfare is not physical. It is spiritual. And that's one thing that we have to vitally always remember because one of the devil's biggest defense mechanism is division, is us uh, babbling. But we got to remember that what it says in the word of God to not babble because that leads to more ungodliness. It's nothing wrong in standing for the truth, standing for righteousness, standing for repentance, standing for obedience, talking about hell because we need to talk about those things because the, 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 the world doesn't talk about it. All the world advertises the things that God does not want us to do. And that's what they tell us to do. And that misleads us right to hell. So those things that we, we have to ask Jesus to help us to understand. And we have to also understand, too, that when we speak the truth to the world, that the world is going to reject it. That, you know, when it comes to people that 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 never heard God or 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 is a non-believer, that they're going to rebuttal and rebel. Because at one time we did that, too. We weren't always saved. So that still doesn't mean you put them down, but we got to remember to pick them up. We can still pray for them, not pray on them. Because we still need to have a mindset. We want to see more souls in heaven than in hell. Not see more souls in hell than heaven. Because we want to see more souls in hell than he in hell and heaven than heaven and than hell. Then where we think we gonna end up at? If all we want to do is preach a sermon of condemnation. Romans eight says there's no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. So we gotta remember that Jesus came not to condemn but to save. And that's in John, you know, the famous scripture, John 3, 16 and 17. But we must remember that, guys, that the warfare is not physical. It is spiritual. Talks about that in 2 Corinthians 10, where the apostle Paul was just talking about not being bold in the flesh. Not comparing ourselves to others. Or taking my walk and comparing it to somebody else's walk if they're just starting or, or you know, we see their struggles and stuff like that. We No, no, the body of Christ, we're not supposed to be doing that. And a lot of that is going on and we need to cut that out and stop that. Because though we walk in the flesh, the war is not in the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God, having a readiness for the uh, uh, having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Ephesians six says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against, you know, principalities and, and powers and, 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 and spiritual wickedness in high places. So we got to remember the war is not with people. It's with the devil, it's with the enemy, and it's within ourselves. And that's why we got to be fighting through prayer. Because that's the biggest defense mechanism the enemy uses is that division, man. Us going against each other. But we got to break out of that. Because the Lord wants us to win souls. Not lose souls. And don't get me wrong. We're not going to win them all, man. We're not going to win them all. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same time, we need to have the right perspective. We need to have the right motive and intention when we are speaking the word of God. It's definitely needed. Do not do not get me wrong with that. And I'm not telling nobody to stop speaking the word because we need the word. But it's all how we go about it. I know some will say that, you know, it's not about that, but it definitely is. We still got to do it with humility. We still got to do it with gentleness. Because it also says that we, we use the word, the word of God, the gospel for edification and not destruction. So we use the word to save, not to condemn. Because we all are work in progress.
Salvation is immediate, but sanctification is a lifetime process. None of us have arrived yet, and we're not going to arrive until we stand before the Lord. So even though we might be not doing things that we see other people doing, we used to. But, you know, God caused us to grow. Jesus gave us that righteousness, that holiness, that obedience, that repentance, right? So if he can do it for us, we need to be praying that God will do it for them as well. But please don't take this as, you know, you being knocked for preaching the word. No, because we need the word. But we need to remember that the warfare is a spiritual warfare and not a physical warfare. So keep that fire burning for Christ, family. I love y'all. Y'all have a great weekend in Jesus' name. Peace, peace, shalom be with you.